Back side of the coin is another story. Here we witness radial abrasion piercing through lettering as well. It's likely the result of impact down by coin roll cramping machine, but it could be an error as well. I must confess that I'm no expert in this field. The 1979p Roosevelt dime was struck at Philadelphia Mint with actual mintage of nearly 722 million. This coin is composed of copper nickel clad with an, with an outer layer of 75% copper and 25% nickel bonded to a pure copper core. It is considered a common coin with most examples found in circulated condition to locate uncirculated or about uncirculated pieces. Look for coins that exhibit minimal wear, retaining most of their original mint luster and sharp details, often available in rolls or mint sets. Full bands refer to the sharply defined horizontal bands on the torch faces on the reverse side of the dime. Coins with this feature are highly desirable among collectors for the 1979p Roosevelt Dime superb gem examples with full bands can command prices ranging from $50 200 dollars depending on their condition market demand and grading by reputable services like pcgs or ngc here is circulated 1974 dealing Lincoln scented brown very fine condition the mint mark D below the date denotes the Denver branch of the US mint the facility where this coin was struck Coin has numerous contact marks, where on high points and several carbon spots, especially on the backside. Oh, also several tiny nicks show up on rims. The 1974 D. Lincoln Cent is a work common. The mint struck over 4.2 billion examples that every Lincoln Cent collector can own many of them. In circulated grades up to MS66, they are common. In MS67, they are much scarcer overall. In MS68 or higher, they are considered rare. This is just circulated and worn piece, so worth less than dollar in open market. But now, MS68 specimens are extremely valuable. For example, this rare red sample was sold for $4,474.99 in May this year at Great Collections Auction. Now this is very nicely preserved and lustrous Washington Quarter, it's so lustrous that it even displays cartwheel effect. 2016 Harbor, Harper Ferry Quarter in Lower Mint State. I know it's my bad that I keep it without holder and touch it with bare fingers, not wearing gloves. Thing is I already impaired its numismatic value by improperly storing it in open with other quarters. They touch each other every time I move them for shooting. As a result, we get those hairlines and small contact marks. But overall, this coin is sharply struck and has very nice eye appeal. The 2016 P. Harper's Ferry National Park Quarter was struck at the Philadelphia Mint as a part of America's Beautiful Quarters program. It has a mintage of nearly 434 million. The coin is composed of copper nickel clad with an outer layer consisting of 75% copper and 25% nickel bonded to a pure copper core. This quarter is not considered rare with Many examples available in circulation. To find uncirculated pieces, look for those with no wear, retaining a full mint luster, often found in original mint rolls or sets. In higher grades, such as MS67 or MS68, the coin may command premium, often between $20 to $20 and $50, depending on its quality and eye appeal. For collectors, examples such as those with strong strike and minimal contact marks are particularly sought after. Here I'm holding circulated 1976 Jefferson nickel with quite unpleasant eye appeal. Other than circulation rub and tarnished toxin of verse, coin displays outcome of dye fatigue, the poor strike which results from overuse of dyes. The 1976p nickel issue is not rare, but in higher uncirculated grades with full steps, they change the hands for a lot of money. For example, this MS67 FS graded gem with pretty ice blue and apricot rose toning ended up selling for $4,025 at heritage auctions. 
The 1975 P. Lincolnson came well struck and examples up to M66 are very common. In M67 conditions they are much scarcer, however, with enough searching examples in this condition can be found or purchased. Anything grading higher than M67 condition is considered rare. This super gem was graded in mean state 68 red by PCGS. The surfaces are flawless as expected and display rich fire orange color. It was sold for $9,000, also at Heritage Auctions. Now here we have 1967 Roosevelt Dam with a massive slanting gauge extending almost from rim to rim. I have no clue about the identity of this deep gauge, also I am not 100% positive that it's mint mate thing. Nevertheless, we have what we have, and this coin shows other peculiarities on the backside as well. Lettering are weakly struck, and slanting scars appear on this side as well. According to PCGS, over 2.2 billion 1967 Roosevelt dimes were struck for circulation, so finding an example should be fairly easy. Finding examples in circulated grades up to about MS66 condition should not be an issue. In M67 conditions, they are also fairly common, and at small premium, just about anyone can afford one. In M68 conditions, they are scarce with few examples known. Any example in any condition displaying full bands details is very scarce. M68 gems with full bands has guiding price of $1800 according to PCGS coin fact. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more numismatic insights and exciting coin news. And as always, feel free to share your thoughts, ask questions in the comments below. God's willing, see you in the next video.